Hey guys, welcome in. And we have got a new mask. The Queen's Cup Reward Mask has just uh, turned up, have just been delivered, and I have made the perfect deck to go with it. So, I've got a very good collection of masks now, which I quite like, and I like that there's lots of themed ones. So, I'm just going to go change up my style. What other hair haven't I used for a while? Let us see. I kind of like that one. Let's go that. Purple? Let's go purple. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. So, as I was saying, I have got the perfect deck I'm wanting to test with this. Latias and Latios. These two, I do not have their Megas. This deck would be a whole lot better than Megas. And this little thing. EX Gudra. So, I have still got the Wobbuffet in here. I've got the Finny in here. And I've got the Mega Altaria. So, I need a booster. Let's jump into this and just see how this will go. I've, I, I've got two Eon Flutes in this deck. I, I did buy three with the plate sale. So, um, not quite feeling through. If I had the Megas, I definitely would. But because I don't, ah, and I got someone with the Mega. No. Air Balloon, two Eon Flutes. Well, well then, um, let us see how we can do the UX EVs, which is pretty cool, Eviones, Evolutions, um, what does this one go into? Flareon, so he went and got one of each, okay, okay, EV, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go pack my uh, Latias down here, see what my opponent does, see if he goes all YOLO and goes for the attack, that's, that's not the greatest chance, but it could potentially happen, oh, air blue, Ah, oh, because he's guaranteed three. So this Pokemon cannot be two, two or lower. Mm, that's a smart. That's a smart little air balloon trick. I like it. Um, and now I'm forced to shut off the goal, and now he's going to rush. The good thing is now I don't have to be worried about anything else. He's going to go for the hydro kickers. And we are going to, what are we going to do? We are going to get out Finny. Because then I can step over, step back, wherever I need to go. So, we'll see what my opponent goes for. If he goes for, I'm sure he was going to be going for that Hydro Kick. Ooh, Latias. Give me that purple or blue. Purple or blue. <sighs> Fly away. No. I've got no long throw in this deck. Maybe I should have one. Maybe I should have a long throw. Well, double chance going for this. Looking for my blue. Oof. Looking for my blue. Oof. And now I've got no blue for one turn. So he can freely attack into me with that Caldeo. Ouch. Alright, not a great start. Not a great start by any means. Um, mm, mm. I'm just going to continue pushing forward. And then I'll probably have to shut down the goal. And then move up looking for surrounds or taking things out. Is what I'm going to have to do. 
So shut down the goal, see what my opponent does next. I've um, got to watch out for that E. Oh no, I don't have to watch out for that Eevee now. Oh, good to know. So I'm going to go here, look for the attack, hope for white on white. Double edge, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. At least I do have the... At least I do have the old... Uh, Eon Fruits. So, we'll see what my opponent's going to do here. He goes for the Eevee. Eevee Lucian. 110 Will O Wisp Quick Attack. Okay. Going for the attack. Looking for the Insta Wind since I've got no goal block. The rush is real. Oh. Uh, no. And I've got no goal block. And I've got no goal block. And I've got no more double chance. Oh, I can air balloon. Well, yikes. Yikes. Shut down my entry, and I want to go back and attack it, hoping for a blue. Yikes. Unless he attacks again. No. No, smart plays by my opponent. Okay, I definitely have to get rid of a max revive. Let's go, attacking, looking for my blue. Oof. Worst, worst case scenario. I'm getting some terrible, terrible things happening. Oof. Yeah, that's game. Just for spite's sake, let's give him an attack. And I bet you want to fly again. <laughs> Ah, 80 on 8. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully, this next game is a little bit better than that. The Rush, though. The Rush. I thought I might have been alright versus the Rush, since I've got two 3MPs that can surround the goal. But I, I need to do something better than that. The Fly Away. That took my entry. Oof. Oof. There goes some more monthly. Alright. Let us... I'm going to edit the plates quickly. Edit the plates. Let's add in a long throw. See how that goes. Maybe I'll replace another Eon Flute. Maybe. And the Latios, Latias both really, really need to be level 10. By the way, team event is here. M Mega Mewtwo's and Mew, which is very interesting. Um, I like both the colours of the stars of the Mega Mewtwo's, the red and the blue. So, mm, potentially, that's something to look forward to um but i hear the rewards are not as good there's only a rocky helmet and does not give you an air balloon which two air balloons would be a little op especially for rush um if they just gave them away although two rocky helmets now that you can get them um i definitely can think of some decks that can be based around having multiple of those so very interesting, very interesting. I like it. I like what's happening. Um, there we go. We've got an opponent. Let us see if we can actually, actually get some more mons out this time. And, and we are against uh, EX Guja ourselves. One Eon Flute. What, what is going on? What a, when you use certain figures like you get matched up with people with similar things, which is very interesting. I'm going for the Pikachu too. This is nuts. This is nuts. Bonkers. On a lead with Finny, and then he does have a hurdle jump. No, no air balloon for him. Um. Oof. Oof. I would love to right there. 
go and attack. Um, or just move out. Oh, I should have moved out Wobbuffet. Because Wobbuffet can't attack. If Wobbuffet moves next to a Fracture, does it have to attack? Interesting. Looking for the beautiful. Beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, now let's get this open. Now he's going to have to be defensive a little bit. And then we're going to get Gudras out. Getting all gooey. Gooey, gooey Gudra. So I want to get Gudra out here. Um, give him a marker. Give this one a marker. And, and then just see how well we can do with it. So, Max Revive. Ooh. Let's test this. I want to test this with... Yep, no, we don't have to attack. Mmm. Wobbuffet low-key OP. Mmm. Against the current meta. Alright, let's activate this and tap that. Yes. Alright. So now one of them is not afraid. I'll do it for the next one. And then... Ooh, interesting. What is his ability? Um, deals... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I would love it. I think EX Guja would be actually amazing if you could put markers on any mons. He put it on... Why would you put it on Kai Ky Rogue? When there, there are opposing Groudon, Kai Rogue, or Rayquaza, this deals... Why do you want to cancel that? I do not, I do not understand. Is he just activating AI? Was it? Or is he trying something? Is there something I don't quite get? No, maybe AI? Maybe? Maybe? Anyway, so now I'm doing plus 10, so I'm 150, 130, it's 90, and uh, 160, 130, uh, 100. So, why are you just putting, putting, uh, this does plus 10 when this is knocked out in battle, so he cannot knock, he's, he's removing all his own abilities, what is going on, I wanna, I wanna get it next to Wobbuffet though, although that was kinda nice, low-key OP, um, being able to do what it did um, with moving to fracture and not being able to attack. That is pretty cool. Alright, what has he got? I know! Oh man, I was just trying to check out the differences. I really was. <sighs> Whoops. Misclicks all around. Misclicks all around. Although now I can get it out on the other side, which is nice. So I want to go just drop him down here. And then. Oh. Yawny McYawn face. And then. I'm going to max revive. Gudra. And just put him over here because that's where I do want him. And then put a marker on Wobbuffet, move Altaria onto the goal, push Finny up for an attack. So let's activate this now. Here we go. And then, so why do you want to put markers on Caldeo and Cairo? Is there something I'm missing? Is there something I'm missing? Or is this what AI does these days? Oh, give me a fly away. If I hit a flyaway just there, that would be like nuts. Um, man, that would be. Alright, I'm just going to move my Gudra over. And yes, I can attack when I want to. 
but it's not going to be Fracture. I do not want to attack Frax. Um, Gudra, what is my opponent's Gudra doing? This is what I wanted to check. So he's got. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm just going to move up there and then see. Um, I don't want him getting a. Uh, I didn't want to get you a flower. If you had a flower there, that that was a very good play to make for my opponent. Um, but I'm glad. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, I see you there. Um. Ooh. I'm going to just move over here. In my turn, I do have the damage on my opponents. If we're rolling like 120 on 120, or 150 on 140, or 90 on 80, I do have the damage. What has he done? He has done 140, and I've done the flyaway. Oh, going for the Z move. Oh, give me a flyaway. Please fly, 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 fly. Ching. Well, I'm gonna try this because he's had his ability removed. He should be just don't hit hydro kick. That's fine. He should just go to the PC because he removed his own ability. What is my opponent doing? Really? Is this AI? Is this AI? <laughs> What is going on? Two EX Guja decks against each other with Latias. Like, what? When do you ever see this? When do you ever, ever, ever see this? No, it's not. It's not AI. Someone's definitely having a think. He's like, who do I, who do I go block with? Good choice. But I am going to double chance, looking for the muddy water. Looking for my purple. Ah, oh, not gonna respin that. I'd love to hit damage, but I'm not gonna respin that. Now one blue, roll one blue, and it's over. Latias going to PC though. Hmm, I kind of like it. Purple or blue for me. Ah, oof. Oof. Um, and I've burnt my, burnt my mm, Max Revive already. Mega Altaria. Alright. I'm just going to go in here and attack, just because I can. Fly away. Okay, that's fine. He can go wherever he wants. I'd say there would be the best option, but, mm, okay. I'm going to go for that Cairo then, and I've got nearly, nearly, just over a third of the chance to knock it out. Oh, come on, come on. Wow, that was rough. God, I better hit white and white now though. For what he's rolling, I better hit white and white. This is happening. And now, white on white, one more time. No purple from my opponent. <laughs> Wobba Fat. <laughs> EX Guja and Wobba Fat. Mmm. Stuff of dreams right here. Stuff of dreams. These are what dreams are made out of. The master. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. That was. That was. That was horrendous. I'm going to go out with. Funny. Um, I was thinking of going out with Latias, but as a mirror match, I've got the plus 10. But I thought Finny for the purple pushing on goal would be good. Oh, yes, please. Give me blue. Okay, that's fine too. He's got no goal block. He's got nothing else he can use. 
I'm just going to go slowly make my way out and see what we can do. If I can, if I can roll one more blue, purple, purple or blue. Oh, come on, purple or blue. Yes, please. Well, I'll take that. The risk didn't pay off for my opponent. Went for the YOLO. Man, I can't believe the miss with my Wobbuffet. The miss with Wobbuffet. That was harsh. That was very, very, very harsh. I'll take it. I'll take it. I need it after that. I need it. EX Guja, man. Two EX Guja decks against each other. With Latias that don't have Megas. That's it's like nearly unheard of. Nearly unheard of. What is going on? Well, <laughs> what do you guys think? Wobbuffet, like, if, if he didn't roll a miss there, he was king. He was king. He is level 10, by the way. Just just in case anybody is wondering. He is level 10. And he does have that much miss. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look and actually see how much miss he has. When. There we go. Level 10. And he has 19 miss. A little bit under a quarter of his wheel. So one nineteen in every hundred rolls, I'll be rolling miss. That's a, that is a lot. I would love to see that just something else, like a bad, like an absolutely horrible attack. Just not miss. I mean, he'll be he'll be super OP if he had like a four miss and a giant counter. He'll be super OP. Hmm. But, I mean, he can attack. And you got to set him up to make him good. It's not like D.O.D.O.D. used to be. With a decent sized counter, a giant purple when there was hardly any gold in the meta. Mmm. What the fat? What else, what else could he be? Make his protect bigger? And then, like, Z moves will have more shot at him, but... Would be pretty risky because of like the counter on the Z move. That could be a thing, but mm, I don't know. He's cool. I do like him, and it is a lot of fun. So I'll give him that. I'll give him that. But EX Guja, man, I can't still can't. I can't believe I came up against another EX Guja deck. I'm sure the matchmaking is trying to put people with similar decks together. But who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. And we'll see you guys soon.